Doug didn't have a best man. A guy like me doesn't land a girl like her. Please help me. There is one other thing. So we got the next best thing. What exactly do you do? I provide best man services for guys like yourself who lack in such areas. I'm uh, what you call. I love here it is. I'm a, I'm very romantic. Oh really? What are you putting a little candle and some brisket? Hmm? What's a nice? <laughs> What's a nice? Candle and brisket. <laughs> A romantic night for me is taking my wife to a beautiful dinner, um, taking her dancing on an esplanade. You're lying! <laughs> You're lying! Giving, to her, your team. giving her a box of chocolates <laughs> made just such uh, a... in France. Yeah, the... <laughs> taking uh, her for a night of dancing. What are you in 1950? Oh, where are you going to dance? They are all so talented, those gays. One top, top date dating tip, tip. Don't date a woman with a bumpy back. You should, you can't trust her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it's just another day. Um, you know, uh, I think it's a nice day to remember, even just like I always say, happy Valentine's Day to my parents. It's a, a day to just sort of appreciate the ones that you love. Do you think, generally speaking, you're quite romantic? Um... I don't think so, actually. I mean, I, I enjoy affection, but I don't know that I'm particularly a soppy romantic. Did you leave a pair of red panties in my office? I don't know, maybe. I think everyone's different. I mean, the best thing I can always recommend is just to be yourself and be very confident. And, you know, that might not always work with everyone, but there will be people where you click, and that's the best thing that can happen. They better be mine. Sweetheart, think. I don't know. I'd have to check my red panty inventory. Andy, I need you to take this seriously, okay? This is the last time we're going to see each other until... Until when? Until it's safe. You are going to get a divorce. Never say that out loud again.